total floor space for this fab is around 2.3 million square foot. 台积电点头，美国权威财经媒体 CNBC 获准造访亚利桑那州新厂，施工进度全曝光。Actually, this project is designed for five nanometers fab. That's a copy from the fab we have in Taiwan. 美国厂一比一复制台湾成功经验，台积电砸一千亿美元力拼三年后产制五纳米晶片。美国虽是先进晶片产地，至今却没有五纳米厂。拜登政府的晶片焦虑终于能缓解。If you want more capacity, you have to build more fabs, and that's one of the reasons that we're moving to the U.S. Our customers want us in the U.S. The U.S. government wants us here. 耗资一百二十亿美元的美国厂月产能将高达两万片。美国在全球晶片市占率很输亚洲，光是去年亚洲占近八成，美国却连两成都不到。随着美中地缘政治紧张加剧，有晶圆代工龙头坐镇，美国呵护至极。We're not going to have to worry about geopolitical conflict. We're not going to have to worry about another major pandemic. We will have these kind of manufacturing capacities on U.S. soil. 全球依赖台积电。一项数据显示，不论是新款 iPhone、自驾车 AI， 甚至是军武用的超级电脑，使用的先进晶片，台积电就高占九成多。南韩巨头三星也退居老二，只占百分之八。但外界不知，创办人张忠谋却也曾被砍衰。To get funding, he went to many named companies, and they told him, "Morse, your idea won't get off the ground. If you get it off the ground, it can't scale." 台积电老将一起他创业初期，面对 Intel 等晶片大厂环伺，和投资人质疑，执意专注全晶圆代工，而被视为赔本的豪赌有了意外结果。Building a fab today takes at least two years and ten billion dollars. It's become nearly impossible for even the biggest chip companies, Intel, Nvidia, Broadcom, Qualcomm, AMD, to do it all and keep up with the most advanced tech, even relying on TSMC to make some of its chips. 台积电一九九四年在台上市，二零零零年已经赶上二十多家先进的晶片制造商，至今成为三星之外全球唯二具备五纳米晶片实力的领头大厂，更是成功翻转国际劣势的台湾奇迹。华语新闻严心怡综合报道。日韩焦点全面掌握，东亚局势全球关注。新时代的区域竞合，台湾 in or out？ 每周四晚间九点，环宇看东亚，带您探索东亚震惊脉动。